Mary goes, oh, he just stepped on a snake's head and it's huge. Good morning, friends. I came downstairs today with my hoodie on. It's just that kind of a day. Yesterday was amazing. We had outdoor church. It was a joyful, it was just a really great day, and late, late last night, I don't know, maybe not late, in the evening, I started feeling a headache, and I thought, if I ignore this, it's probably going to get worse, so I went upstairs, I took a bath, and I got in bed, but it still got worse, so today, I am... Um, Hopefully, gonna get rid of this headache. I do have a new medication that my neurologist, and my CF team, have both like talked through, and it's safe for me to try. Might not end up working in the long run, but it's worth a try. And it's another migraine drug. So the injection is supposed to prevent migraines, and then since they still come, just less than they used to, which is good. That's what we want. Um, but since they still come, we still need something to help when they do come. So hopefully the pharmacy was supposed to be ordering it. So hopefully that came in and we can try that today. That'd be great. So I'm going to do my best to drink some coffee. See you later. I'm still waiting to hear from the pharmacy. But I took some Tylenol and I'm thinking it's gonna kick in. But it's gonna rain later today. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should get some lettuce. Let's go get some lettuce. Yeah, it's gonna rain later and I just wanted to get off the couch. I just get feeling so antsy, like, I don't feel like I can do much else besides sit on the couch, but I don't want to sit on the couch. So now that my head's feeling slightly better, let's get some lettuce. Okay, we have some red leaf lettuce underneath and some romaine on top, and now we'll be ready for lunch. Good morning, guys. I am running to the pharmacy. I think they have, they just got in the shipment of Mary's new, excuse me, migraine medication. I think maybe she told you that it's kind of a rough, evening and then today I think it's been manageable but not fun is probably how I would describe how today's been because she's just feeling that pain and so I'm gonna go pick this up and really hoping that this might be a medication that can help we'll see all right I picked it up and it's yeah. It's worth a try. And she just we'll took see. her first dose. And hopefully... This I, would be so good. Yeah, oh, hopefully so you feel helpful. better. It's so interesting. Like... Yeah. yeah. And that there's just one pill yeah. in that package. Interesting. You can only take a certain number per month. It's like... Is it 10? Like 8 or 10. I'm guessing 10 because so, it comes with 10. The way that my doctors are having me try it is take one pill, which is 50 milligrams. Maybe that's a lower dose, I'm not sure, but because of my liver, they want me to start on a low dose. Take one, and then in two hours, if it doesn't work, take another. Um, I'm guessing because this headache is already kind of not the worst. I always compare it to like what my worst headache has been. Mm -hmm. It's not the worst, so maybe one pill will work. Guys, I was just up in my office working and I heard Mary scream bloody murder and I was so worried I booked it ran down the stairs came out here and Mary goes oh he just stepped on a snake's head and it's huge guys look at this thing so is that like four feet long Ollie's totally fine by the way he's in the house now yeah the animals have no idea what happened Mary. So I was carrying Harry and we were looking at the gardens. Yeah. 
And you just in my looked. Bare feet. Yeah. No, 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 no. Anyway, I walked from that garden this way, mm. and Ollie. Huh. Well, this didn't help anything. I saw it. You so you saw it first. Yeah. And then Ollie stepped and then on it. I screamed. So then Ollie's like, "Oh, what's happening?" <laughs> and it steps on its head. Oh wow. So the question is, what are you gonna do now, Peter? Well, Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. You love snakes, don't you, Mom? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a harmful snake. Yeah. And it's gonna do its job. I and... think it had a heart attack and died. It's not moving. <laughs> mm. Wow, that is a big snake. I think it got stunned. It's probably like an inch in girth and like four four feet long, probably. You scared it, me. It may or may not be the biggest snake I've ever seen. Oh, that that no that. I kind of want to pick it up. Mary, I, you I, it up. Uh, <laughs> I have to say that copperhead I almost stepped on was bigger than that. It was. Yes, it was bigger than that. What do you mean? It was bigger than that. Longer or thicker? Thicker and probably about that long. I can't believe it's not moving. Oh, its tail is. Is it? I just saw a little piece of grass <laughs> move. Really? All right, what I'm going to get a close-up on this. Why don't you go down there, Peter? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have snake events when we get together? Yeah, yeah seriously. Well, I've been so wow. surprised this whole time we've been gardening. We haven't seen any snakes. And I thought we'd see little baby brown ones or black ones and... Oh, I see his tail. Tongue, oh, tongue it's moving moved. now. His tongue is moving. Yay. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Okay. He looks wrinkled. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, there he go. goes. Okay. Okay, Another? I'm not as scared anymore because I'm up here. Slipper, well, slipper. and when the animals are like, yes. oh, I'm going to just walk over here and step on his head. Well, and Harry. Mm. I had Harry. Yeah. I'm I, I think it's interesting. Harry would probably, like, sniff it. How skinny his head is. Ew, that is a long snake. It is a very long snake. It's okay, there it's moving. Long. They are so That's slithery amazing. when they move. Now I like it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> go, Ooh. buddy, go. We're this in the like snake races. The to watch it wow. No, I like it going away from me. That's good. Do you like my grass? Yes, he said I you did a good does. job. I probably He's probably going to have a family here. Oh, oh no, dear. no! You can you can go check out somebody else's yard. <laughs> There's some woods next door if you want to live there. He went under the leaf. <laughs> He's Sneaky. An obstacle course. Okay, I just want to make sure he gets out of the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gave you a fright with my screaming. Oh man! Did you? I hear thought, it? I thought Ollie like when I heard that scream. I thought Ollie got like attacked by an animal or something. Well, that almost Maybe happened. Somebody escaped and ran away. Yeah. yeah. Just well, slithering away. I, I think I can't quite believe that I... Well, we know I scream at snakes, like that one at, yeah. in your basement. Oh, yeah, but you were going to pick it up. Yeah, true. But it was, like, coming at me, the one oh, in yeah. the basement. But I, I, like, screamed because I was, like, a snake... Yeah. Mm. But then the screaming fest continued when Ollie ran toward it and mm. then stepped on it. Wow. But Crazy. I have learned that snakes don't chase after you. Mm. And even though I don't think I had that in my mind, it's comforting to know that. Mm -hmm. But I think I still booked it. Like, yeah. They're creepy. They are <laughs> creepy. I'm surprised you're even outside at the sight <laughs> of a snake, Mom. <laughs> For the snake event. Like Mary said, it's safe on the balcony. It is. Okay. I just put some tall boots on because I want to walk toward it. It's moving. That's good. We're trying to see where it's going so it can go home. What if I walked down here? There were like hundreds of them. I know. You kind of remind me of, um, well, who was the guy with the alligator? Oh, yeah! <laughs> with your, with your shorts and their boots. Wow, and... you are so long! Okay, so there are woods right over here. He did not find a hole. I thought he was going to go home, but he went under the fence, so Peter's going to gently He's hook him. Not hook him, but like He's use gone. this to transport him. Oh, he's really getting... Oh, he is... I he's mean... Like and use it like a shovel. 
Yeah, Peter, I don't, I'm... <gasps> He struck it. He struck it. Oh, he's so mad. So I wonder if there are people in Durham like happy snake removers. Oh boy. Good, good, good. That's good. Good, buddy. This is what we want you to do. Yes. Oh, nope. Coming back at you. Yep. Just doubling back. Doubling back on himself. Oh, he's going to strike. Oh boy. Buddy, you gotta go out. Go oh, yep, he got gotcha. you. Oh, look at that bite. Go, buddy. Oh boy. It seems that we do not speak the same language. Trying to corral. Okay. Oh, oh he good. Oh, he missed, missed the, the hole. hole. But there are but holes in the back that? fence. Yeah. And this is good. This is going really well. <laughs> oh, good. You better block it after this. Buddy, we have a plan. Oh, wow. You can go in. Like high. Flying high. Look at him. Wow. Go. go, buddy. Okay, did he find his home? I think he found it. I think he found his home. Don't come back. <laughs> don't come back now, you hear? You just need to get this boarded off, don't you? No. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Good job. Well, the snake has exited the yard. Hopefully, he's on his way back to his home, which hopefully is not our particular yard where mm -hmm. our particular animals need to be yeah. frequently. I do think he lives under our deck. Oh. <laughs> I saw him just about here, but we'll see what happens. Thankfully it is not a venomous snake, but it is a scary one. It's a rainy afternoon. And a second, a second cup of coffee just sounded just so perfect. We're doing a puzzle. Peter's working. And I think my new medication is also working. I, I think part of why Peter loves to cook is that growing up, he sat at the counter, like the bar counter, and watched his mom cook and helped. You helped with stuff, right? Did he help you cook growing up? Pretty much. I, 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 but I did sit at the, at the counter yes. and do my homework or something. Tell us about some of the things we're going to have. We're going to have the best things on earth, like crab cakes and my mom's homemade rolls and coleslaw and twice baked potatoes. That's a staple. How long have you been making twice baked potatoes? Long time. Long time? Our goal is to do one puzzle per day that my mom is here. And so far, she's been here two days. Well, we finished a puzzle on Saturday. Oh, the cereal box one that we had already started. Finished that one. And then we <coughs> did last night, we did the bird puzzle. Where, where is the bird one? Okay. Uh, we did that bird puzzle. And now today, mostly the girls did the puzzle, but I, uh, I'm helping finish this up. It's a fun one, classic stamps. To the puzzles. To the puzzles, cheers. All right, we are out, Ollie and I on a late night mission. Yesterday, we were on a walk and Ollie dropped his ball that he was carrying on our walk. He likes to do that. And the ball rolled and we were kind of caught up in conversation. We didn't watch to see where the ball rolled and we thought it went down the like storm drain. So we were like sad about that. We looked around after we were finished talking, couldn't find it and then it was near one of our neighbor's houses, so we, Mary texted them and said, hey, if you see Ollie's ball, uh, let us know. And we got a text. They found it. It rolled into somebody's yard. Okay, we got it. He's a happy, happy boy. Let's go show Mary what you found. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's a happy boy. That's awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for hey. tuning in. What? You probably worked. Yes. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. I, I did have to take Tylenol because we couldn't, like, the pharmacy didn't have the Ubrelvi in time. 
but so next time I'm going to try it without Tylenol and hope that it does a great job. So we'll see. Oof, Bye. He took off. All right, guys, as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Ollie boy. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, he's got to get his bed. Bring it.